Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Today we'll read Psalm 83. O God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O God. For behold, your enemies make an uproar. Those who hate you have raised their heads. They lay crafty plans against your people. They consult together with your treasured ones, against your treasured ones. They say, come, let us wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. For they conspire with one accord against you. They make a covenant. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gebal and Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher has also joined them. They are the strong arm of the children of Lot. Do to them as you did to Midian, as to Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon, who were destroyed at Endor, who became dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeeb, all their princes like Zebath and Zalmunna, who said, let us take possession for ourselves of the pastures of God. Oh, my God, make them like whirling dust, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest, as the flame sets the mountains ablaze, so may you pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your hurricane. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek your name, O Lord. Let them be put to shame and dismayed forever. Let them perish in disgrace, that they may know that you alone, whose name is the Lord, are the Most High over all the earth. So, a little geography lesson there, huh? Well, all of these enemies all around um, Israel have conspired together. They all want to see Israel destroyed. And it's really no different from the way it is today. All of these Arab nations, Muslim nations now, want to see Israel destroyed because the Muslims and the Jews don't really get along, even though their faiths are related and both come out of the tradition of Abraham. There's still a lot of animosity there. And they lay all these plans against Israel. And then there's this long list of you know geographical places. Edom, that's over the river. And Ishmael, that's you know, Arabia. And Moab is next to Edom over the river, and Ammon is over there, and all these other places. Philistia is the Gaza Strip. Asher is Assyria, which is basically Iran or Iraq or somewhere over there. Um, and he says, destroy them like you did at Midian, which was some Old Testament battle, um, or Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon. Sisera was a general who, uh, who ran into a tent during a battle and um, told the woman there that he needed rest. And she said, I'll fix you something to eat. Just go to sleep. And so he laid down and fell asleep because he was exhausted. And she didn't fix him anything to eat. Instead, she took a tent peg and drove it through his head um, and then ran out of the tent screaming that she had killed the general and everybody was, she was a hero. So um, ooh, that's what you got to do. Uh, but all these people are destroyed in, uh, in battles against Saul and David. And so let's make our enemies now like those enemies, like whirling dust. It just flies around and has no, um, no place to land. So terrify them, O God, and and make them scared and put them to shame and make them realize that you are the Most High God, not all these other gods that that we talked about yesterday. Um, And so that's that's today's psalm. If you're not an ancient Israelite, uh, you have to really kind of make this metaphorical and decide, well, what enemies am I talking about nowadays because, you know, the Moabites are calmed down pretty much. And so, you know, who is it that's against you, against us, that needs to be um, pushed back against? Um, So, you know, that's a cheerful thought for today. 
Um, but the overwhelming uh, framework here is that God is going to um, care for, take care of, and protect his people, um, come what may, and, uh, and calling on God to do just that, take care of your people. And so God will take care of his people, and that still uh, continues until our time. And so let's give thanks. Let's have a great, a great Wednesday, okay? And we'll see you tomorrow.